<laughs> you should start getting ready right now. Yeah. <laughs> camp out. Camp out until <laughs> you pretend like, out. pretend like it's like the newest new Nintendo Wii that's coming out. <laughs> Or pretend like the girls from Laguna Beach are gonna be there and you're like, I have to get in line now. I'm just kidding. That makes you seem like you're like that, but you're not like that at all. We're not like that. We're in a different <laughs> elite group of people. Sarah doesn't like that, that show at all. It's not that I don't like it, I just. I love there's it. A, there was, remember back in the. Some of you were too young to know this, but back in the olden days when TV was TV, it was fake and you didn't look at the people on TV and go, I wish I was like the people from Beverly Hills 90210. It's real. And now it's like people actually watch that stuff and go like I wish I could be like the people from Laguna Beach that's not real yes it sort of actually is kind of real and so that's weird <laughs> <laughs> what happened that's what it's that's what's so confusing about it is it's like I even watch it sometimes and I'm like I'm like you have to be so dumb to like this show and then I get to the end of an episode and I'm like what happened am I dumb like why don't I understand what just what the episode was about I wish that they'd title them. Do they title them? Like, the yeah. episode about yeah. uh, when that yeah. girl, they do? Yeah. I need them to be more explicit. I need footnotes for that show. I need, like, I get to go to Borders and I'm like, in, in episode six, when that girl with the weird teeth, and then she goes up to the guy with the hair that seems really gay. So he's not gay? Let's go to that episode where we find out he's actually gay. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I love that show. I, I loved it so much that I saw three episodes of it. I don't have television, but we were staying at this house that had it, and I watched three episodes and became so obsessed that I used um, an, a friend of mine who watches television illegally on the internet, gave me a link, and I watched two seasons of it back to back over a weekend. <laughs> Because I don't, I know it's not reality. But isn't it? I don't think so. They're real. Those are real people. Like if you look at their birth certificate. They're like us. They got hired by a company and they got all their personalities. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I don't know if it's real or not. Who cares? It's hilarious. <laughs> I still like the radio, like public radio, that you just listen to people talk about real life. Yeah. Spiro? Taylor! Okay. <laughs> Chris thinks you're the star of the band. Can you see how you're louder than the bass guitar? Yeah. <laughs> He's all like, Sarah solo, louder, must hear Sarah louder. <laughs> Do you have a clogged sinus or something? There's something wrong with you. Yeah, it's called you. Where do you go with your broken heart and soul? And what do you do with the left over you? How do you know when it's time to let go? When it's a good goal? Good go. Clearly, I am something you don't find. Me a chart, give me a new audience for me that you won't go. Clearly, I am promised no love is like I have love. Give me a new audience, I'm on break, broken, I won't happen. It's love, release, embrace, you see, love always.
gonna do one more, um, but we have to thank you again for putting up with this. Yes, uh, thank, thank you. All. you. Thanks, to Thanks to Borders for having us. Uh, we love doing radio and we love doing in stores, and uh, this is a great thing to do. So even though it was our day off, and technically on my day off, I like to lay in the fetal position and uh, recover from my fights in the alleys the night before. So, um, but it was a pleasure, um, and I, I think, yeah, we're going to sign CDs and stuff afterwards, so, um, but we're going to play one more, but we want to thank all of you for those people that have to run off to go to their jobs, because it is a weekday, just so you all know, it's not Christmas. It's a weekday, and it's still November. Or Hanukkah. It was Thanksgiving, though. Yes. But you took last week off, so now you have to go back to work. Okay? <laughs> or school. Whatever. I know you guys don't laugh. People take Thanksgiving so serious here if you make fun of them because you guys take like a week off for Thanksgiving. Everyone's all like, <laughs> and you're like, but you realize it's just Thanksgiving. It's one day. In Canada, we only take one day. You get five. So, lazy. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, there's a lot of thanks to be given, so you understand that. <laughs> so. We did not mean to offend your weird <laughs> family, so. That's slightly offensive when you really look into the historical it's true. meaning of it. We have a Thanksgiving too. Yeah. We're giving thanks for the harvest. It's very different, but um, it's sort of silly too in a weird way. I didn't yeah. even know we still had harvests. <laughs> I'm kidding. We have a lot of sarcasm in Canada, which I feel like we're spreading to America like a weird disease. Like people sort of laugh, but in that way when they just learn to walk and they think it's weird to have legs. Like, they're just like, that was funny. Like they didn't mean it, but they kind of meant it, like to go over our heads. But some people get it. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a British thing. I blame the British because in Canada we get a lot of British TV and everything is about sarcasm, even their news. <laughs> That's a thing That's where they talk about actually. world events, but from a non-biased perspective, you don't have that here in America. <laughs> um, okay, now we're just being really mean. Okay, no, don't also group us in. I was okay. being cute. <laughs> I was being cute. I love Fox News. It's amazing. 60% oh. of Americans think Tegan and Sarah are rude, but sort of funny and sarcastic. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna play music now. Um, in case you didn't know, we're a band, not a comedy. Not gonna play itself, Tegan. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> It's really hard because they don't know what you mean, but they laugh anyway. But enough people in this room know what you meant. It's embarrassing. For me. <laughs> what do you do? It's part of your job. <laughs> I will never forget her. <laughs> One time, this girl got into a fight with me because. I, cause I didn't load my own gear. She was mad at me cause I didn't load my own gear. She was like, following the band around. I was like, I can't believe they don't load their own guitars. And the band was like, well they did forever. And like their backstage meeting contest winners, it's not like they're not doing anything. 